Hey, it's Tyler checking back in with Team Up Productions. Thanks for watching. Uh, this is another update on this car, Project Grey Goose. Started uh, painting this fender with uh, this Duplicar stuff, which I threw away, but uh, works okay. Um, it, I mean, the video looks kind of decent. I uh, put on two full cans onto here, and then I went and bought the clear coat, which I'm going to go buy a few more cans of this stuff. Um, this is a clear coat I bought. Like I say, I, I spent like an hour and a half prepping this. I uh, masked everything off really nice, and I cleaned it off, degreased it, debugged it all, and stuff like that. And I tried to blend it right here the best I could. I mean, see where the old clear coat used to be, so it's not really a full-on rester done. Um, but I didn't want to spend a million dollars into this, and I couldn't find any used panels. I'm replacing the bumper because it's just destroyed and trashed, but... It looks better than it did, by far. Um, I'm hoping a couple more cans of clear coat will make it kind of pop and a good wax job. I got all those stupid black stripes off of here. Um, took, the, took the scoop off, and um, as you can see, there's still residual junk. I got to get off this yet. Um, back here, I have started to clean this up just on the deck lid up here. Now... You can see ghost marks on here still. I literally have cleaned this off, clay barred it, buffed it, polished it, waxed it twice, everything. They will now come out. I've tried everything on this. I mean, it is smooth as silk on here. Um, I, I don't know why it's not going to focus. I can't tell if it's just from being on here, the fade is on the actual rest of the car where the stickers were covering up the good paint or what, but I didn't want to use any more polish on this or any more buffing compound because that stuff eats into the clear coat a little bit. So it's the best I could get it. Um, you know, the spoiler is going to cover up from here across. You're only going to see a little bit. Um, I don't like how it looks at all, but the weird thing is, is if you look at kind of like the back here, you can't even see, well, you kind of can, um, Right here is where the stickers were right there, and that's where it's clean. But the license plate had covered up this. Um, so I'm thinking that that's why it looks so nice. I have a feeling that, in fact, the rest of the car is actually faded from sitting out in the sun for two years without actually uh, being stored inside and cleaned. Um, it's going to be really fun to try and get this stuff off up here. These ones, it's hard to tell in the video, but it's real, real dark on the roof. And then up here, these actually melted. That's all glue I have to get off yet. Um, I had taken off the stupid spoiler uh, uh, scoop thing. And uh, you can see where the lines are on this. Uh, it got into the paint a little bit there. So I'm going to do some paint correction. That's the best that I can. Um, I want to replace this fender. I didn't realize, you know, you got a dent here and then a dent there and a huge dent there and scratches everywhere all over this thing. And then you got some rust down there. So. Um, I'm going to be looking for a fender and um, a uh, bumper still because this bumper is broken right there. It's just trashed beyond belief. Um, big old crack right there, so that bumper's coming off. And if I could find a uh, another fender, I'd like to buy. If I could find, I'd like to get two, fen two front fenders, a front bumper, and I'd like to get a hood too because the hood really is not in that good of condition. It's hard to see. There's a bunch of paint marks rock chips in the hood too um the the shake or whatever covers up this but you can still see where those stupid lines were on there i don't know why people put those stripes on these cars i think they're terrible um you can see all these spots i gotta get out of this paint yet and this paint is just terrible so but i got the back of this you can kind of see in the video um it looks pretty pretty good like compared to if you look at this well i guess kind of bad comparison but um, I even waxed and, and got this light cleaned up really nice here. Um, I was kind of surprised that the compound actually kept it pretty nice without, uh, messing up at all. But, uh, the paint, I mean, you can kind of see the transition here of, that was where the stripes were and that's where they're not. And I guess it's like, you know, I think it just faded where the stripes weren't is what happened 
Because like I say, I tried I tried everything on this and nothing was working. Um, there's not much gold flake in the paint. Like if you look at the other mineral gray car we got, the paint was kept up nice, washed, waxed, buffed every week. And uh, it's dirty now, but you can see clearly the difference in, you know, this, this definitely has like a gold flake to it almost. Um, I didn't even see the reflection, my, my big fat ass in here. So, I mean, you can just tell the paint being kept up nice. Come on, focus. Um, there we go. Tell the paint is being kept up nice compared to uh, what it looks like now on that car. So, I mean, I haven't even washed this in a, in a while. You can see clearly the reflection just in the paint versus this one here. It's been sitting outside for years, and then it was in my shop all winter long, and I washed it a couple of times, but... I mean, you can barely even see me in the reflection, you know? It's like you can see a resemblance of somebody, but you really can't see my pretty face. And you come over here, and, well, I, I guess you really can't. There you go, now you can see my pretty face. So, kind of like, you know, I don't know. I'm trying to get it cleaned up and uh, make it look all pretty. And if you guys have any tips on, on what else to use to get out that fade um so far i have used clay i washed it clay barred it i've used this stuff here i've also used this stuff here then i've used this stuff here to wax it thank you this was the paint i had gotten right there for the uh fender. duplicator for the fender so that's what the paint coat is um but yeah, so uh, that's what I've used to try and get that uh, cleaned up. And I mean, it, it looks a lot nicer for sure, but it's, it just annoys me that you can still see the paint fade in there with the, the ghost stripes. I mean, I think it's going to look way worse in the hood when you can see the hood because like they're really dark in the hood. I mean, I don't know if you only see that, but they're pretty bad in the hood right there. So I'm going to try and clean this up and hopefully it'll go nice and see. And I'm hoping this fender will turn out better than it is it's definitely not what i was hoping at all it's it's better than it was but i mean you can't see any reflection in it at all and i used the whole can of clear on that um but i guess we'll see what we can do here and go from there so but all right guys thanks for checking back and i'll talk to you later